Bryant University's longtime president is stepping down. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen spoke with President Ron Makeley, who announced his retirement today. He joins us now live in studio with details that are new at 5.30. Steve? Well, Mike, it's been two decades of transformation at Bryant University. So as the president retires, we wanted to take a look back at what's happened since he took the job in 1996. From the past to the present, Ron Makeley oversaw Bryant change from a college to a university. His 23-year run as president will end in May 2020 with his retirement. It was a bittersweet and frankly it's an emotional decision. We didn't have to leave when you love something and you walk away from it. It's a hard thing to do, but maybe we're going out at the top of our game. During the tenure, he and his wife Katie doubled the student body, built new colleges on campus, and entered D1 athletics. It was a much different campus. We got here and there were five empty dorms, and I wasn't smart enough to know that the budget was going to be 1.75 million in the red. Katie developed a women's summit every year that continues to grow in size. And it's helped thousands of women to better their lives. The couple donated a million dollars to the capital campaign fund. We wanted to make sure that we were giving money back to the place that we love and where we've had the privilege of serving and have been so very happy as a couple for the last 23 years. Makeley's a Navy veteran and former U.S. congressman. They might be retiring, but they won't go far. We plan to stay connected to Bryant because this has been a wonderful home for us and we want to give back. Ron and Katie say they plan to spend more time with their two granddaughters, and now they can travel while they have good health. Ron says he'll continue to look for some intellectual pursuits. He said Bryant hasn't reached its pinnacle yet, and he has high hopes for the university's future. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.